Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from TGIF, Today God is First. The title of today's message is Overlooking Offenses. Proverbs 19.11 says, A man's wisdom gives patience. It is his glory to overlook an offense. I have a friend who tells a story of a lesson the Lord taught him through his wife. It seems that every time he and his wife would get in the car to travel somewhere, his wife had a strong need to direct his driving. She would tell him where to turn and when to turn, even in their own subdivision. It was such a horrible habit that it drove my friend crazy and became the source of many an argument. Finally, one day my friend concluded that the Lord was trying to teach him something through this experience. He decided he would let go of his need to be free from her correction. He began to affirm his wife and even thank her for her input. It was excruciatingly painful to do this from where he sat. A few months passed, he let go of the entire situation and actually got to a place where it just didn't matter to him anymore. An interesting thing happened a few months later. One day his wife looked at him and said, John, I just realized that I've been directing your driving all these years and now realize why I do that. It goes back to my childhood when I had to direct my younger brothers and sisters. I am so sorry I have been doing that. My friend nearly fell out of his seat. Whenever we work close to another person, whether in an office or home, small offenses can become the source of great conflict. Resentment and irritability soon follow. God brings these offenses into our lives to develop character qualities in us. He uses individuals in our lives to accomplish His goal of making us more Christ-like. So the next time you complain or resist a habit or action from someone close to you, ask God if it has been placed there to develop some quality in you. Pride is the root source of the need to change another person. A man's wisdom gives him patience to let go of little offenses. This is where spiritual maturity is seen in the day-to-day activity of life. Is there someone close to you who has some habit you really want to change? Give up that desire to the Lord. Who knows, he may even change it after you let go of the need to change it. What a a great spiritual principle this is. You know, there are irritations in life, especially if you're married. You know there are things that come up uh, in the course of your marriage that can be conflicts or irritations or things that are said or not said. And so it's those times that we need to sit back and say, okay, is this worth an argument? Is this worth me engaging about this issue? And sometimes when you let go of it and just commit it to the Lord, it's amazing how things can change. The Bible says, uh, give a soft answer to anger. And uh, many times just uh, not allowing yourself to be triggered is what God is wanting to find out if you're willing to overlook an offense. And so I would encourage you today that you'll be able to do that in the next next situation that comes up that might want to trigger you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word that many times things throughout the day can cause us to react. And I ask you for the grace to allow us not to react, but to be able to see it through your eyes and to be able to have a soft answer to any situation that arises in our life today. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. 